Hello friends, welcome. Thank you for joining us for story time today. Today's program is for older toddlers and for preschool aged children. I am Lila, I'm the library coordinator at Tullison Public Library. Thank you for joining us today. So today we are going to be doing some songs, a little activity, and we're going to be doing some stories. Today, we're going to be having a little tea party with my friends here. So this video will be archived on our Facebook page and you'll be um, able to watch it again so you can recreate the little tea party with any stuffed animals that you have at home. The kids might enjoy kind of uh, playing along and recreating the story as I go. So we're going to start with our introduction song. It is the song that we use at the Tullison Public Library when we do our story time programs there. I'm going to begin singing in one, two, three. It's called Let's All Clap and Say Hello. Let's all clap and say hello, say hello, say hello. Let's all clap and say hello and smile at each other. Let's all clap and say hola, say hola, say hola. Let's all clap and say hola and wave to each other. Let's all clap and say me how, say me how, say me how. Let's all clap and say me how and bow to each other. Let's all clap and say bonjour, say bonjour, say bonjour. Let's all clap and say bonjour and sit down with each other. Hi again, friends. Thanks again for joining us. So I am going to start by introducing one of my little friends today. So this little bear is named Babu. Hi friends. Hi Babu. Are you going to help me with the song today? Yes, Babu is going to help me with the song. So we are going to do a little activity called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Are you ready, Babu? He says, yes, he is ready. Okay, ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Touch your nose, ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. I'm gonna reach down and touch his toes. Touch your toes, okay? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Touch the ground. He's gonna go all the way down to the ground. Touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. Good night, Babu. You gonna take a little nap before a tea party? Babu's going to take a little nap before our tea party. I have a little story here with another little bear in it. I do love working with uh, books that you can sing. This one is Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. It's by Annie Kubler. And here on the inside, you see little illustrations of children and little bears just doing the motions. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Touch your nose. Touch your toes. They also do give the, the baby sign um, for teddy bear, which is this, teddy bear, teddy bear. So touch your nose, touch your toes, turn around, touch the ground. Reach up high, touch the sky. Turn out the light and say good night. Good night. Okay, so now before our tea party, we are going to do another uh, little action song. So if you are watching along at home, then uh, please kiddos, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do I'm a Little Teapot. Do you guys know that one? I bet that you do. If not, it's pretty easy to get the hang of. Okay, so I'm a little teapot. I'm going to start in three. One, two, three. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. 
Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. And then of course you can repeat on the other side if you wanna be having more teapot fun. It's a really easy one to pick up on for, um, for older toddlers. They should be developmentally ready for that and preschoolers still have a lot of fun with that one as well. Okay, so now I'm going to read you a really wonderful little story that I like very much. It's called Tea with Oliver. This is by Mika Song. Tea with Oliver. Here we see a little cat on the front. We've got little teacups and a little mouse friend here. A little paper airplane. What do we think this is gonna be about? I bet it's gonna be about a tea party. Let's find out. And I am reading this today uh, with permission from HarperCollins Children's, which is the publisher. Ready? Oliver talks to himself a lot. He says, it's a nice day for tea, but who will have tea with me? Who will have tea with me? And here we see that little mouse again, hiding under the couch. The little mouse says, me, I'll have tea. Philbert talks to Oliver a lot, but Philbert is too shy to come out from under the couch. And Oliver doesn't hear him. Philbert says, hello. But Oliver doesn't hear him. Look, Oliver has a little bear friend that he's having tea with as well. So Philbert, who's our little mouse friend, decides to write Oliver a letter. You can see the words here. It says, Dear Oliver, let's have tea. Philbert, under the couch. I hope we have cookies with our tea. Oliver's doing chores. Sweeping the floor, what a bore. I've got the lonesome apartment blues. Oh, he's feeling lonesome. There's little Philbert. There's little Philbert there. But whoops, Oliver sweeps the note back under the couch. So Philbert tries again. This time, he tries to send his letter by airmail. Makes it into a paper airplane. He's gonna shoot it out from under the couch. But Oliver thinks it's a bug. Eek! A flea! And he misses the letter again. Philbert wonders what to do. Then there's a knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Oliver says, who is it? Cousin Lester, will you have tea with me? Cousin Lester says, we. He says, I'm throwing a party, but I guess there could be tea. Our little friend Philbert says, what? A tea party? He thinks there's going to be a tea party. Let's see what kind of party Lester has in mind. Not without me. His little letter says, dear Oliver, we must have tea, please. Philbert. So Philbert decides to march right up and hand Oliver the letter. But just then the guests arrive and the party begins. They've got all kinds of musical instruments. Ooh, they're jumping on the couch. Oliver's asking, would you like some tea? 
we're bouncing, can't you see? Philbert says, I don't like this party one bit. This is not a tea party. Oliver is excited. Someone at the party must want tea. Tea? No, we're dancing, silly. Look, little Philbert says me. I want tea. One, two, cha-cha, oof. Oh, no. <gasps> My teacups. Oh, no. All of his teacups got broken. The party ends as quickly as it began. Sorry, Oliver. See you later. They leave without even helping to clean up. Ooh. Oh, Oliver is feeling very discouraged. Look, oh, sad Oliver, he's crying. He says, I'll never have tea with anyone now. But our little friend Philbert under the couch says, excuse me. Oliver rolls over and finds a mouse. Hello? Hi, my name is Philbert. It's nice to finally meet you. Philbert hands him the letter. Oh, a tissue, thank you. <sighs> hey, that's a letter. Oops, sorry. Let's see. Dear Oliver, we must have tea, please, Philbert. You want to have tea with me? Yes. Oh, but I don't have any more cups. Yes, you do. I saved these for you. Philbert saved some tea cups at the party. Oliver says, hooray, two cups. One for me, one for you. And the new friends sit down for a nice cup of tea. I love that little story. Would you like a cookie with your tea? I thought you'd never ask. And there are three little cookies there. And now they're able to have tea with each other. And they're both very, very happy about that. Oh, look, there's some little letters on the back that Philbert has written, let's see. Dear Oliver, I am your neighbor, your pal, Philbert. Dear Oliver, cookies go well with tea, any type of cookie, P, probably stands for Philbert. Dear Oliver, tea is best with a friend, your true friend, Philbert. Hi, from under the couch, P. Dear Oliver, it's a good day for tea, Philbert. Dear Oliver, this is a letter. Your friend, Philbert. Dear Oliver, that tea smells good. Philbert. All these little letters that Philbert has written. So parents and caregivers, I just wanna point out one thing. So oftentimes in children's books, in picture books, a lot of the text is gonna be in word clouds. So here on this page, for example, you can see the little word cloud with a little kind of arrow, that dip, that curve that's pointing to whoever is speaking. So you can tell who's speaking. So pointing that out to kids on the page um, helps them understand how text works in picture books. Um, so anytime that you're really pointing out where the words are and how to identify them with the character in the book that's speaking, um, that's gonna help them with a skill called uh, print awareness which is very, very important for uh, pre-literacy and for reading later. So the more that they're understanding the difference between words on the page and pictures on the page, um, which is something that happens in stages, uh, then you're really helping them figure out how text in the book works, um, which is gonna help them a lot later. So pointing out those little word clouds. 
Another thing that I wanna point out um, in this picture book and the activity that I recommend that you do for this is working on writing. So again, our five pre-literacy practices that we wanna be working on every day are talk, sing, read, write, play. Um, so there's really great opportunities um, tying in with Tea with Oliver uh, that you could be doing at home. So one of them, of course, is pretend play. So kids actually get a lot of cognitive development, brain development, um, and social kind of emotional development out of pretend play. It's one of the most important things that kids engage in every day. Um, so of course, like taking their little stuffed animals or pets or siblings or uh, you, and being able to kind of have some pretend play interactive time. Tea parties, of course, are a favorite. Um, so if you have any like little paper cups or little tea cups, any kind of pretend food or even food from the pantry, even um, incorporating kind of your daily snack into just a little more um, pretend play kind of little special setup can make them feel like they're um, engaging in, you know, kind of a party or an event or something where they can be coming up with a lot of dialogue and maybe having characters speak. Um, so for example, if they are having a little tea party with their friend, like I've got Babu here, then as Babu is, um, is partake, participating in the tea party, then uh, the kids are going to be coming up with things for their stuffed animals to say, um, which is really helping them understand how narration works as well. Um, so things like character motivation, um, how to tell a story, and how dialogue in general works, all of which are very important for reading later. Another activity that I strongly recommend tying in with Tea with Oliver is um, simple letter writing. So Filbert wrote a ton of letters to his friend Oliver, very simple letters. Um, so just encouraging them to write very simple notes to you right? Like this one says, I love you, mom, or uh, thank you for coming to my party, or the menu for their tea party, or an invitation to the tea party. So I just want to point out really quickly um, some of the stages of writing. So at first, their writing is going to be big scribbles, right? Like big scrawls. From there, it's going to move more into lines where they're trying to make it look like they're writing. From there, they might be making um, shapes and symbols that kind of look like letters, or like that. From there, they're going to be trying to do uh, mock handwriting, but making it look more like cursive, so a little bit more squiggly. Trying to write on lines, telling you what it says, asking you what it says. And then from there, they're going to be working more on actual symbolic writing where they might be trying to make some, some shapes. Like that might be the beginning of, do, do come to tea with me please, or whatever it is that they're coming up with. So encouraging them to write every day um, is going to be working on not only their, um, their motor skills and their hands that they're gonna need in order to grasp a writing utensil later, but also encouraging them to think about how a word sounds. So as they're getting to preschool, one of the most important skills that they're gonna be working on is phonetic spelling. Um, so, for example, if they were going to write T, it might look something like that because they haven't really learned yet that the E and the A together make the E sound. But if they're writing something like that, that means that they're still understanding the sound that T makes T and E can make E. So whenever they're uh, able to sound out a word that they're trying to say and approximate the, the letters that go with that sound, that's a really good skill that they're working on and we wanna encourage that as much as possible. So when they give you um, a letter that is phonetically correct, even if the word itself isn't spelled correctly, we definitely wanna kind of praise that and encourage it and say, that's a great sound, um, and sound it out with them so that they're uh, getting that information reinforced and then if you want, you can spell it next to it and say, this is how the word is spelled. That E-A also makes an E sound. But making sure that, that you're able to kind of go over it with them as they bring it to you um, so that you're going over those kind of phonetic sounds together. It's really important for reading. 
Okay, so thank you for joining me today. If any of you do um, write a letter or have a tea party and you wanna take a picture of it and put it in the comments to this video, I would love to see what you guys are working on. Um, and now I am going to leave it with our goodbye song. It was wonderful to see you, friends. I'm gonna start in one, two, three. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, give a roar, dinosaur. I mean glare, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye friends, I'll see you next week.